Rock Santa. Good morning. Good morning, guys. What is going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ali Roots. And, and together, together we are, are Riley Roots. Roots. It wasn't focused. <laughs> it's an early Saturday morning, which means garage sale day yeah garage sale day if you're new to our channel or you've never seen one of our videos before we are online entrepreneurs we sell on ebay and amazon and we're youtubers we make videos for you guys most of our videos are about like buying stuff and then reselling stuff online so if you're into those kind of videos consider subscribing today is saturday and we're going garage saturday sale. November 25th. <laughs> so on Saturdays, we usually like to go out to garage sales to see what we can find to resell. Um, this is kind of a different Saturday because yesterday was Black Friday. So we're not sure if there's even gonna be good stuff out there, but we figured we'd wake up and go anyway, cause it's fun. Yeah, we don't remember if we went garage selling last year. Yeah. But we're gonna do it again <laughs> this year. <laughs> so let's go see what's out there, guys. Bye, mama. See you later. Garage sale number one. First one. We struck out at that one. Did you get it, babe? Because there was a baseball jersey. Ha. 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 <laughs> That's why you always look stuff up, guys, because that jersey, that Yankees jersey, I found. I don't know if it's the exact same one, but it, I mean, it looked like the exact same one. There's one right now on eBay brand new for eight dollars free shipping Ugh. yeah sometimes it's good to look up the for sale in case the market is saturated because then you don't want that item that was that one right yeah <laughs> so yeah look stuff up no go there nothing found nothing so we're gonna keep going see yep. what else we can find all right let's go <laughs> What is it? $80 book bag. Oh, really? And my son, he said he's at Florida State and he said it's too big for oh. him to carry around school. How much do you want for it? 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. Would you do 10 for the backpack? For this one? No, no. That no? one, that one's, I'm telling you, that's like a, it really, like pull it up on the internet, like pull up the name brand. Yeah. It's, it, it, I can't just let it go like that. Cause it's, I got gotcha. you. So, it was so expensive and then he never really used it. How about $15? Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How I do want it. So. How seventeen? I mean, it's really a, a yeah. steal. It's a steal. Like I'm serious. Those are like eighty, ninety dollar book bags. I, okay. I think they're even more than that. Really? Look at this score. A caboosh. First, First find of the day. So cool. the brand is Just Porter. It is barely used, excellent use condition. So you'd put like EUC in the title. Yes. People do search for that whenever it comes to certain things. Some people don't want roughed up, roached out book bags, <laughs> but they want like a used one for a really good deal. So we found one of those bags, very high end, very expensive, excellent use condition. It's cool. It's huge. I've actually never heard of this brand before, but sometimes when you're looking at items, you can tell that they're quality, even if you don't know the brand. So it's worth looking up. <laughs> Ali's hiding behind it. <laughs> the only used comp is this exact same bag, which is cool. So same color and everything. Um, and the comp on it is a hundred and sold for $110 plus $19.99 shipping. And we paid $17 for it. So very good buy there. And speaking of good buys, babe, <laughs> oh man, are you gonna do, you do remember a what's sold? No, I'm gonna do oh. a there's an offer. Do you remember that that ebook reader that I picked up when Eric the college picker was with us? Yes. Do you remember that one? How much did I pay for that? Do you remember? Fifteen, ten dollars, no, no, two dollars, one dollar. No, it was I think it was it was either two or three dollars. I think it was three dollars. That was in this um case. Mark two bucks. We ended up not sending it to Amazon because we wanted to put it on eBay just to see. And there's an offer for $175. Can you guys see that? You received an offer, $175. So yeah, let's see, review offers. How much do I have it listed for? I have it listed for 199, 
But guys, this is this is where the that uh, don't be greedy comes into play. Except, ma'am. <laughs> except. Sold. One hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's so funny because that just goes to show you guys that people, when they get like used to something and they want one particular product, I mean, they could be a collector, but I think that's probably someone who likes the product. Maybe they're stopped working and they don't want to go buy like an Amazon Kindle. They want to stick with their Sony reader. So like really want to like dedicated <laughs> want to stick with it. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, a good garage sale score and a good sale today. It's already a really good day. And the Johnny Walker thing. Oh yeah, that sold too. We can <gasps> do that, that too. Guys? The Johnny Walker. Porsche. Oh yeah, Porsche design bottle holder. Not in good condition. Paid one dollar for it at a garage sale, which is fitting because we're garage sailing. <laughs> yeah, just as well. Yeah, paid one dollar for it. That sold yesterday for a hundred and ninety five dollars. Yeah. Guys, yes. That's why we still garage sale, guys, because garage sailing is probably the only way that you can turn a dollar into $195. <laughs> yeah, so people who harp on us, why don't we only private label? This is why. Yeah. Because that's fun. That's fun. treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. Me. It is. It's kind of like a modern day treasure hunting. It hunter. is. It's just fun to go and sort through things. Yeah. I mean, we could sit behind a computer and search all day for private label items, and we would probably make more money, but I wouldn't be happy only doing that right i would be happy doing half that but i'm i love garage selling i love thrifting it's just fun i did it as a kid doing it as adults fun they paid for it already yeah e-reader paid for so yeah guys we're gonna keep hitting some garage sales there's not many out today as we thought there wouldn't be because it's black or the day after black friday but we're gonna see if we can find some more stuff but i'm already happy with the 17 dollars into 100 bucks yeah right even there. if we found nothing else for the rest of the day this one bag is more than most people make in two days yeah. or three days <laughs> at their jobs. A lot of people, you know, they minimum yeah. wage. That's more than minimum right. wage for multiple days. Oh, also before I forget, we are going live. We missed going live last Sunday. Oh, yeah. So we are going to be going live this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. We will be live on our channel. Callie will also be with us and we're just going to do another sit there and kind of hang out with you guys and answer your questions <laughs> yeah please come join us 7 p.m eastern time sunday night we will be doing another live show Woo! all right let's go see if we can find some more stuff oh i see a motorcycle Hi. jacket i see a puffy jacket and a motorcycle jacket Nothing there for us. That motorcycle jacket was, 20, she wanted 20 bucks for it, selling for about 40 bucks free shipping. And then there was a really nice Timberland jacket there as well on the end. But she also wanted 20 bucks for that. And comps on that are around 30. So the prices were just a little bit too high. Sometimes you have to know when to walk away. Right, babe? Yes, every single thing we asked her how much, it was all $20, <laughs> a pair of Keen's, the sandals, the water shoe sandals? Keen, yeah. Yeah, the Keen brand. She wanted $20 for the sandals, and I don't know, maybe there was something wrong with them, and she got them like crazy cheap and never wore them. There was glue oozing out of the entire sole Ooh. all over the shoe. There were like weird stains on it. She must have bought it from a store for really cheap. I mean, hard pass. Yeah. On hard to the next pass. ones. <laughs> I feel like that car is bigger than your car. Oh, <laughs> you like my new hat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Name that hat brand. If there was a little kangaroo on the front of it, would you know what it is? I didn't. Kangol. Ooh, look at my hair. <laughs> Whoa. This is a Kangol brand hat. Kangol brand hat. Kangol brand is the one with the little kangaroo. They usually make the little like um, small bill hats that if you wear backwards, the little kangaroos on the front of it. Um, they are, some of them are worth a decent amount of money. This one was only a dollar and we should get around 20 bucks plus for it. So not a bad little score there. Pot. Ooh, ba oh, it looks good on Allie. 
Yeah, it looks much better on you than me. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just not a hat person, guys. So the last, what, two or three garage sales that we've been to have been total Five bust. Five or eight. <laughs> no, we haven't even been to that many today. The last like three have not been any good. Nothing, no finds. So, so far, just that hat and that backpack today. Yeah, I mean, usually we find more, so this is a little yeah. sad, but still appreciate the fact that we did find the backpack. Yeah. And yeah. I just got another good offer on the eBay item. Ooh. That Oracle shirt, that one, that Oracle polo, got an offer for $41. Ooh. So I think. That's the best offer so far. Yeah, I mean, I have it listed kind of high for 48. So they offered 37. I countered 44.88 and they counted 41. So I think we should just take it. It was like a $5 item, so. Yeah, just take it. Except make some sales today boom done <laughs> make some money all right a couple more garage sales maybe we're gonna head back towards home I think and if we find some on the way we'll hit them if not or even if we do I think what we'll do we'll just turn this video because we're selling stuff we'll just turn it into like a what sold video <laughs> Yeah. show you guys some of the stuff that's sold for us in the past couple weeks so you can see what is selling for us this time of year we're home that's yeah. it all we got is a backpack yeah, and the hat. Oh yeah, the hat too. That's and true. one great thing, guys, about buying anything with pockets is that you get to check the pockets. Yeah, check the pockets. I don't think there's anything good in here, but there is yeah. some stuff. Let's see what we found. There's a piece of gum. <laughs> there's a label for an accent rug. Okay. Um, there's a cord. This looks like, what is this? little micro USB cord. All right. There's a charger. Sweet. Another micro USB cord. Ooh, and there's a paper. What's the paper? <laughs> it's like a check-in sheet for a dorm room. <laughs> oh my God, that's cool. Nice. It's a really cool backpack though. Look at these clasps. They're like magnetic. Boom. So a pretty slow day garage sale in today, but we did find the backpack, which is awesome. That's a great item. Yeah, if we hadn't found the backpack, today would have been a bust, but we found it, so today was great. Yeah, and we only, I mean, there weren't very many garage sales, so we are only out there for, what, an hour or two? So I guess, yeah, let's turn this video into a what sold recently for us. Here's some things that have sold for us. So here's 10 things that have sold for us in the past, I think this is the past week or so. First thing, this is an Affliction Standard Series shirt. This one, this one we took a best offer on, I believe, for 20 bucks. But it's just a t-shirt sold for 20 bucks. It's pretty good. This was a lot of 10 Wii games that we bought at a garage sale a little while back. We just bought the whole lot and listed it as a complete lot. And they sold for $64. This is a thrift store pickup. This is a good brand to look out for, guys. Merrill. And these are Bypass is the name of them. Uh, paid, I want to say we paid, what, five bucks for these? Something like that. And they sold for, this was a best offer as well. Took a best offer of $42 on these shoes. This was another old garage sale find that we just sat on for a while because it was an armored motorcycle jacket. And sometimes they take a little bit longer to sell, but it's definitely worth it. And we took a best offer on it of $110. Here's another good brand to look out for, guys. Big Star. If you're into jeans, this is a great one to look out for. These sold literally overnight within a few hours for full price, sold for $24.88. This was another recent pickup. This was a thrift store pickup. I paid, uh, I paid up for these. I paid $9.99, so 10 bucks for these shoes. Um, but this brand sells pretty much instantly for us if it's priced right. So this was a best offer. We took a best offer of 30 bucks on these shoes and they also sold overnight. Found this lot of Tweety Bird watches and some Mickey Mouse was mixed in there too at a garage sale. Just listed the whole lot because we bought it as a lot and we took a best offer of $50 on them. And we paid, how much I, we pay? I think I paid a dollar for all of them, which is why the best offer of 50 bucks was like, yeah, let's just sell them. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be greedy. Because they they're not in great condition either, some wear on them. But, and none of them were working, they all needed new batteries. So for <laughs> 50 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. Another great brand that we find all the time at thrift stores, this is Gerbo, is how that's pronounced. <laughs> Um, this one, we took a best offer of $38 on these jeans, I believe. Um, and I think we paid, for the jeans, I want to say we paid in like the $250 to $5 range, depending on 
which store we got them from. This jacket took a best offer of $68, I believe. So pretty good find there. The zipper was broken on it and it still sold for 68 bucks. This was one of those weird things. We found it in that storage container and we felt bad for the guy, so we just picked up a couple of things. It smelled terrible and I washed it four times. Finally got the smell out and got it pretty darn clean. Really cool vintage Levi's shirt. Um, I guess it was probably around a dollar to two dollars. Yeah, it sold, <laughs> it was the best offer as well. It sold for $33 and this one, I'm assuming it went to a collector or um, someone who's like really into vintage Levi's stuff because it sold within, uh, honestly, I think this one sold within 10 minutes of me listing it um, for $33 for the t-shirt. That's so, crazy. Yeah. Last but not least, oh no, what's that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's not a sale. That's our merchandise that's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Quick plug, guys. If you do want a t-shirt, a Rally Roots t-shirt, or hoodie, or a convo, go to rallyroots.com shop, and you can pick those up still. I forgot to add the PayPal link last time, so if you go there now, you can pay with PayPal if you want. There you go. There's some sold things. Yeah, some sold <laughs> stuff. So as we were garage selling today, it was really funny. We were taking best offers on stuff because, hey, why not? Yeah, we put we like to put best offer on most of our listings because, you know, a lot of the stuff we get, we don't pay much for. So why not? If people want to haggle with us a little bit, it also it's kind of fun to get the best offer. So. And it does. I think people, a lot of people search on eBay for items with best offer because that's a search, a way you can search is by only items that have best offer on there. And a lot of people search that way. So yeah. we're happy to haggle with people if we can still make some money on the stuff. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, decent day guys. We only got one thing, but it was fun. We sold some stuff on eBay. Can't complain for a Saturday. Yeah. And we have the rest of the day to go do what we want to do. Well, we're actually going to celebrate my grandmother's 80th birthday. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Happy birthday, Bumba. Happy birthday, Bumba. So we're going to do that a little bit later. But until then, I'm going to eat. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We will see you tonight on our live show, 7 p.m. Eastern time. See you guys there. Later, guys.